What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are doing another Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. So I did a Dollar Tree haul a couple weeks ago. I got some makeup products and I went back and got a few more so we could do a full face of Dollar Tree makeup because recently every time that I've been to Dollar Tree they have more and more makeup and from brands that we like know and love and I'm like whoa like I literally got Flower Beauty there. Hard candy like a bunch of really exciting things and I have some stuff from brands I've never tried before and just all new products like look at these lashes. How cute. So I'm really, really excited. At my Dollar Tree, everything is now $1.25. So it is a little bit over a dollar, but if this stuff is actually good, then I am down with it. And $1.25 for a makeup product is still a really good price. So I'm excited. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys love Dollar Tree and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, for primer, I grabbed this smoothing face primer. This is from LA Colors. This is one of my go-to brands at Dollar Tree. They always have a bunch of their products and a lot of them are actually really great for the price. So interested to see how this primer does. I'm already breaking out. So hopefully it doesn't make me break out anymore. Okay, tell me why this looks like a lip gloss like the applicator I, I don't know but anyways we're gonna go in with it all right let's see I feel like this looks super white but I've just checked here it says it's clear it literally says clear on the packaging it says minimizes pores all right let's just go in oh no 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 wait what is this oh my gosh you guys I think I'm gonna have to take this off I don't know what this is it looks like I'm applying sunblock. That's like the zinc oxide sunblock that like doesn't ever turn color. I can already tell you right now, wouldn't recommend this. Um, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, this is just like, like it literally says on here, clear. I, I don't know. I have faith in our Flower Beauty foundation, so I am just going to take this primer off. Um, it's just, I wouldn't suggest this one. All right, now Miss Drew Barrymore and Flower Beauty will not let me down. I know it, fingers are crossed. Um, I found this Flower Beauty foundation at Dollar Tree, which I was really surprised at. This is the About Face Foundation. So I do not believe that I ever tried this, but it looks good. Um, I got shade L. F7. One thing I will say about Dollar Tree is as far as shade ranges go, it's normally relatively scarce. Like they'll have like three shades of something. Maybe it was like three shades that didn't end up like selling well. Like I don't really know, but a lot of times you're not going to find like full shade ranges of foundation. So you kind of got to go with what they have. But luckily I was able to find one that I thought would work. If I can open it, it's all, there we go. I'm going to shake it a little bit. All right, just going to squeeze some on. Oh, <laughs> Goodness, why is this happening to me today? Okay, it was really liquidy and came flying out everywhere but the sponge. Oh, and my carpet, okay. Today is not my day. All right, I'm gonna ankle it down. There we go. Ooh, okay. This is very, very liquidy. Although, I do think it looks pretty nice on my skin. What do you guys think? It's a lighter coverage, but like it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel bad. It's just super, super liquidy. Like when you put it on here, it's just like, melts in, but I do think that it looks pretty nice on the skin. Overall, I would say this is a win. I think it looks good. All right, for contour and concealer, I got these LA Color Sticks. So this is shade light and shade medium. So I'm gonna just basically use shade light underneath my eyes, medium to kind of contour out the face. All right, first we'll go in with the concealer little stick and I'll place this. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? This is really, this one's not good. This is actually making me sad because normally I feel like LA Colors really does make great products for affordable prices, but this is not, this is not it. I'll blend it a little bit, but yeah. I mean, definitely really not gonna conceal much of anything at all. Very, very light. Like, I don't know, on my hand, I feel like it gives pigment. Maybe I needed to just warm it up a little bit more. I mean, maybe a little bit, but definitely a super, super, super light coverage concealer. And this is technically called a contour stick too. Although this was the only like concealer product that they had, so I wanted to get it. I feel like in the other Dollar Tree videos I've done, I've used a different concealer because they didn't have one at my Dollar Tree. So I saw this and was like, okay, but I wouldn't recommend getting this if you're gonna use it for a concealer. Um, it's just super, super light. I guess it added a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes, but not really gonna give any actual coverage. So overall, not my favorite, but I feel like that because this was relatively easy to blend and not super, super pigmented, I might actually really like the contour version. Um, which I have, but where did I put it? Here we go. 
the contour stick because then this should like blend in really easily and like buff out. So let's go in and see. Just kind of like chisel out the cheeks like so. I'll just do one side first so we can kind of see. And we'll blend. Oh yeah, see this I like because it blends like butter. So I like it for contour, which is I guess technically what these are supposed to be used for anyways. This shade is like pretty light, but I guess it could technically be a contour for somebody. Okay, contour I like because it blended super easily, especially if you want something like really quick and easy for every day that like you can just blend very fast. I think this would be a good product for you because you really only have to like stipple it with a sponge or a brush, whatever. And and it blends in really flawlessly very fast. Definitely like a very creamy product. All right, I feel like we're back on track. I was starting to get a little nervous, but normally I actually find some pretty good things at Dollar Tree. So, you know, of course there will always be misses, but okay, up next for powder, I found this from the brand Be Pure. I don't think I've ever tried anything from them. This is their infused pressed face powder and it is green tea infused. It says it provides smooth matte finish and sets makeup. So let's open it up. This is what it looks like. Oh, okay, so it's actually green. Let's see, that is a scent. No, it just kind of smells like powder and it's like a very light green and I have redness in my skin so I think it should be okay. All right, so let's use this first to set the under eyes and then go from there. I'm gonna tap in. This does not feel drying on my under eyes as I apply it. And I feel like it does not leave, like you can see the green ever so slightly, but it's actually like brightening to the under eyes. Like it doesn't leave like a weird green cast. I feel like it added a lot of brightness there. So I actually like it. And I think it did a good job of kind of like smoothing out my under eye. I'm just gonna basically use this to set like in the T-zone and underneath the eyes. I'm not gonna use it all over the face, but I actually think this is pretty good. I like it. And kind of the brightened awake effect that it gives without feeling super dry. For mascara, I grabbed this one from LA Colors. This is just their Hourglass Volumizing Mascara. I'm actually most intrigued though because I found these new lashes which look beautiful. These are from La Flair 3D French Lash. Like, they look really nice. And I found from Ioni, which is another brand that makes lashes at Dollar Tree. I've tried them many times on my channel. Um, they're actually really nice. They now have a two-in-one lash glue liner. And I am such a big fan of lash glue liner. I love it. So I'm very interested to see how this one works. I love the Kiss one. But if this one for $1.25 works, that'll be amazing. So I definitely mostly want to see how those look. But... We'll go in with the mascara first to coat the lashes. All right, let's go in and see. They actually had a lot of different options for mascara. Most of them were from LA Colors, but it was like volumizing, lengthening. Um, they had a bunch of different, like one I think that was more for curl. So definitely have options there. Brush looks like, just gonna kind of get this on. I feel like most of the mascaras I've tried from Dollar Tree in the past have not been bad, but they're not like amazingly like wow to me. For the most part, they're just gonna coat your lashes with some color, which is what we're looking for anyways. This one actually seems pretty good. It's a more sticky formula, which I personally like. I know some people like the more runny formulas too, so it really depends on personal preference, but I feel like this actually looks pretty good on my lashes. And I tend to like the more sticky formula, so I feel like it really picks my lashes up, and that's exactly what I feel like this is doing, although I'm getting it all over my eyelid, which I don't know why that is, why I'm, why my hand is bringing it up there, but let's clean that. All right, let's try out the lash glue liner from Ioni now and see how she works so we can get some lashes on. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, pretty thin. I was getting scared because this is kind of like a thicker, pen than like the kiss one. So I was getting scared this was gonna be like a really thick tip and it was gonna be hard to use, but it's not, it's nice and fine. So let's go in and do a line with it. All right, I mean, this is working very good. Oh, but actually sticks the lashes. But as far as the liner goes, it looks really good. It's nice and pigmented, easy to use. All right, liner is on. Now for the lashes. These are the La Flair 3D French Lash and the style is AO86. I think they look beautiful. I'm probably gonna have to go over with a fresh coat of this liner when we go in with these. I should have had these ready, but you live and you learn. All right, these might be a little long for my eyes, so let's go in and see. Oh, actually, I think they might fit well. Just press them on there. Okay, yeah, no, a little too long. <laughs> Hang on, let's try this again. Okay, that lash, it's still sticky though, so do a little trim. Little tip for you guys, if your lashes are ever too long, trim from the outer corner, not the inner corner. Um, it'll make it look more natural and seamless when you apply. All right, I think that should be good. Let's try again now. And pop these on. Okay, yeah, this fits better. Okay, these are actually really pretty. And they're super easy to apply. Like they have a thin lash band and stuff. I actually really like these. I think they're really wispy and pretty. Okay, if you guys get anything from this, run and go get these lashes because they are so, so pretty. I do like the lash glue liner too. I'm just a little nervous because when I was doing the second eye, it already started to feel like it was like drying out to me, which I had only done like one liner on one eye. So I can definitely keep you guys updated the more I use this. I feel like it's going to be a product that will dry out relatively quickly, but these lashes I'm obsessed with. I really, 
really like it. It did help when I shook the liner like in between uses, but that's typically what I do at like the end of my liners life, not right in the beginning when they're fresh and new. So just wanted to let you guys know that, but these lashes run, don't walk to Dollar Tree. They are so pretty. Like I think they look beautiful. And I actually feel like I like these better than the Ioni ones. I don't know. I feel like they like just look better on my eyes for some reason. So definitely like this La Flair brand lashes. Okay, for my waterline, I got this LA Colors Shimmer Pearly White Eyeliner. I'm gonna do a little swatch of this. Okay, looks pretty. Definitely like a little bit lighter, but sometimes with these Dollar Tree eyeliners, you have to like warm them up a little bit. Honestly, with a lot of eyeliners, you have to kind of do that when they're fresh and new, like warm them up a little bit on the back of your hand. I'm just gonna do that first. All right, let's see if it shows up in our waterline. Oh, yes it does. This is not like a pure white. It's definitely more of like a pearly white, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. So I do actually really like this. It's not gonna be super crazy pigmented, but definitely does give a brightness to the eyes. I feel like as the tutorial went on, things got better. I was a little scared in the beginning. I was like, oh my goodness, but I feel like it's it's coming together. Like we're getting some good products. Um, up next for blush, I have this LA Colors Nude Glow. So they had a bunch of these new, I think they're new, um, blushes. So I got this one. This is in the shade Sultry. I thought it looks really pretty. So let's see how these work. Looks pretty. I'm gonna just go in and just tap this on the cheeks. Ooh, okay. She's cute. She's pretty. I like this. This is really, really nice. Like it's pigmented. It looks pretty. It gives a nice pretty little pop to the cheeks. I'm gonna even put some on my nose. This is definitely up there with one of my favorites from what we tried today. This and the lashes y'all need. And honestly the foundation too. Like I'm nervous to see if it like interacts with my skin or makes me break out or anything, but I feel like it looks really nice on the skin. Like it's very pretty and feels very lightweight. Okay. For highlight, I got this one from Hard Candy. This is the Fox in a Box and it's a marbleized bake highlight. It says scratch and sniff. So I think it's cupcake scented. Oh yeah. Like vanilla-y. Oh, you can smell it even more. It actually smells really, really nice. And it comes with this little brush. I'm like, should I use the brush? I normally never use like little brushes like this. So I, mm, all right, let's try it. <laughs> then at least you guys will know if the brush is good or not. Let's just put it on. Okay, whoa. Okay, the brush actually does work. You just have to kind of like drag down a little bit to like disperse the product because it is quite thin. Definitely like an icy highlight. It's definitely light. Um, and there was only one shade of it. So if you have a deeper skin cone, I unfortunately don't think this one's gonna work for you because it's definitely icy and really like almost white. Like I feel like it looks darker in the pan than it does once it's on the skin. But if you have a more fair skin tone, I think this is actually really pretty. It also could be used, I feel like, in the inner corners and beneath the brow bone as like a pretty little pop too, which would work for any skin tone. I like this. Like we are glowing. I actually really like this. I don't know that I love the brush. Like I would personally just use it with like my own highlight brushes that I like, but this is a really nice highlight. So look for this because I've seen this quite a few times at my Dollar Tree. So definitely go check this out. Okay, and then last but not least, we have a lippy. This is from LA Colors and this is their jelly lip gloss. I love a good like jelly, juicy looking lip. Um, and the shade is Yum. I'm assuming this is gonna be like more on the sheer side, but sometimes I like that, you know? All right, let's see. Oh, interesting little applicator. Okay. It looks really bright actually. So let's go in and see. Ooh, I actually really like this. It smells very like fruity and like tropical kind of. I like the applicator and I like the color. And I feel like this would layer nicely over a lipstick too, but on its own is also really pretty and does have a decent amount of color to it and feels nice going on the lips. All right, so this is the completed look. Overall, for every single product being $1.25, I feel like we found some hidden gems. Did we have some flops? Yes. Would not recommend the primer or like this light contour one, didn't really do too much, but the blush, the contour stick, the foundation, the lashes, like all really, really nice. So I feel like overall we were able to create a really nice look for a super affordable price, so I cannot complain. Let me know what you guys think down below, but I'm pretty happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.